I really enjoyed Hybroxia 1, so when number 2 was announced I was really excited. Now that I have it I can confirm it's just as fun as the first game, but I did find it a bit too easy. So this is a scrolling shoot em up, but what makes this and Hybroxia 1 stand out from other shooters is how it swaps between horizontal and vertical scrolling. Some levels will be pure horizontal or pure vertical and some will have you swapping between the two, which I think is a really cool mechanic and it keeps the levels feeling varied. You move the ship around the screen with the left analog stick and this time round the right analog stick is used for shooting. The first game allowed you to shoot straight in front of you or directly to the sides, but for Herboxia 2 you can shoot in any direction, which made the action feel much more fluid than the first game. You go through levels killing enemies to eventually reach the end boss. As you kill enemies or complete levels you earn credits, which you can use to upgrade your ship. You can upgrade your health, the weapons, the special power ups or your boost ability which lets you fly into enemies at speed and cause them damage. The upgrade system adds a lot of replayability to levels as you try to earn enough credits to unlock that next upgrade. The levels themselves are also designed for replayability, with astronauts to find and rescue, bounties to find and kill, which are tougher enemies dotted somewhere in the level, and some levels have multiple routes, so you need to replay the level so you can find them and open up the next level. I thought Hybroxia 2 played really well and has some great ideas, but it is over too soon. It can be a positive that a game leaves you wanting more, but in this case I just found the game too easy. I put all my upgrades into enhancing my weapon's power, spread and speed, and it got to a point where I was killing enemies too easily. The first few levels I did die, but as I upgraded my weapons I barely died again. I finished New Game Plus, which was harder than the normal levels, but it wasn't that hard. I think the developers should have applied the difficulty for New Game Plus to the main game. I estimate it probably took 5 hours to get the Platinum. I may have made the game too easy for myself by focusing my upgrades on weapons, and as a result I only died once in my New Game Plus playthrough. The game is very generous when it comes to giving health pickups, so I just found most levels were pretty easy to finish without dying. You unlock two extra modes when you finish the game, Boss Rush Mode and Boost Mode. There are loads of bosses in the game, and Boss Rush Mode has you fighting all of them back to back. It was actually a lot of fun and a great way to earn credits for more upgrades. Boost mode has you flying at speed through a hazardous level where you need to avoid the rocky floor and ceiling. I like this mode. It was challenging but also fun and addictive. The thing is once you complete it, which took me around 30 minutes of dying and replaying, there isn't a lot of reason to play it again. I feel like the game needs online leaderboards or something to incentivize continued play. I really enjoyed the gameplay and my time with Hybroxia 2, but the Platinum is just too easy and once you have the Platinum, there isn't a lot of reason to continue playing. I still think it's worth your time, especially if you're a shoot 'em up fan. I just wish I had a reason to keep on playing. If you're looking for a short, fun game that you can finish in a weekend, then this is a really good choice. So guys, are you planning to pick up Hybroxia 2? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you. 